Charlotte's got a little bit of speed. Got a nice long stride. There's Sherlock, he's got the ball to the 45, to the 50, to 45, 40, run out of bounds. Well, I'll tell you what, Sherlock looked like a man in control that time at 6-1. He went for that ball as if it belonged to him, and when he made the sure catch, he shook the tackler and went down the sideline to pick up another 15 yards. Got some time, gets rid of the football, wide open, Sherlock at the 45, down to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, he runs away from the field, touchdown. The throw, here comes pressure, he gets rid of the ball. He's got Sherlock down there, caught it, touchdown! There's Cannon. Cannon got some time. Gets rid of the football. He's got Sherlock down there. He's got the ball. He catches it. And he is brought down. There's the throw by Cannon down the field, and Sherlock makes the catch. Boy, and he took a hit. He took a hit. I don't believe he held on to that football. And there's the throw. It goes down. There's Sherlock. He's got the ball. He's down at the 10, to the 5, dives to the end zone. Touchdown. 26 yards. I want to tell you something. Sherlock has come of age this game. He looked like a veteran out there. Made a great move. That ball was thrown behind him. He made the adjustment. He made the catch. And he struggled and made it into the end zone. Cannon to throw. Goes to the side. There's Sherlock. Sherlock breaks the tackle. Into the 15. To the 10. To the five, and he's inside the five yard line.
Kid. Sherlock on the pick at the 37 yard line. Got it done on both sides of the ball. He had an interception, and then he ended up with a game-winning touchdown on that 82-yard strike from Cannon, and Sherlock just outraced everybody into the end zone, so it ended up being the game-winning score. Our Crown Trophy Player of the Game, senior Jake Sherlock from Louisiana.